Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite with a new FinSuite Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to create a pricing calculator with checkboxes. We'll be putting checkboxes in our form, we'll assign values to the checkboxes, and when somebody checks or unchecks a checkbox, we will show the total value and then submit that total value with the form. Let's jump in and see how it works. We're in the live example. We have our check boxes here on the left. We have our value and our submit button for the form on the right. We are going to click on these check boxes and watch the values add up here on the right. As I go and click through these check boxes, click on and off, the value will continuously update with the added amount. And when I go and submit this form, the total added value will be sent through the form. And this is a great way to have a pricing calculator on your site. Let's jump into Designer and see how this works. We're in Designer. We have some important classes to look at and we have important data attributes to add to our checkboxes to give them a value. First, let's get with the classes and we have the most important one being the hack 42 checkbox label. Not only do we have to be aware of the class name here, we have to be aware of the structure. The label in a checkbox is very important. It's important because clicking the label is going to also click the checkbox. If we were to leave this by default without any styling on it, the label is separate from the checkbox. We want to make sure that we have one click trigger for this added value to start adding up. We don't want to define just the checkbox or just the label. We need to define one. When I make a checkbox, I like to extend the label to the entire size of the clickable target. This is a really good user experience, making sure that the user is clicking the actual checkbox when they click on the text. So if I go and reapply this, I think we were at 35 and negative 35. Nope, this seems like it would be negative 30. That's good. We have negative 30, we have 35 padding. Look at this big click target. Before we get into the classes, just look how nice this is clicking when I click in this area. Perfect. So we have our label extending the entire size of the checkbox field. This class is important. It's going to be the trigger to go and add these values up. The next important class is the hack 42 added value. The hack 42 added value is where we are adding the value to. So as I click 200 and 325 and 800, those values will add up in this text field. And we have this hack 42 added value. The last class that we need to be aware of is inside an HTML embed, and it is passing the total added value through the form. We can show this value visible to the user, but without this hidden field, it is not going to submit through the form. If you don't want to submit the value through the form, you can ignore this. If you do want to submit the total value through the form, this is what you need, a class of hack42 send value. And what we'll do in JavaScript is put the value of the total added checkboxes in this value attribute. Awesome. Those are the three classes we need. And now we need to get into data attributes. Data attributes are going to be applied to the checkbox. So if we go into Navigator, we'll see our checkbox field. We have our checkbox and we have our label. These are siblings of each other. These are default inside Webflow. This is how it comes when you put a checkbox inside a form. So we have the form, we have the checkbox, we have the checkbox field, we have the checkbox and the checkbox label. The checkbox for each of these has a data attribute applied to it. This data attribute is called add value and the value of add value will be the amount that we want to add when this checkbox is clicked. So we see 800 is to 800, 325 is to 325. This number right here means absolutely nothing. I can change this to this, any number that I want, and it will have absolutely no effect on this added value. It's all about the checkbox. 
So you can update values very easily. You can apply these values and when the checkbox is clicked, they will then add up to this. That's it for designer. We know everything we need until we get to the JavaScript. Let's jump in and see how this works with JavaScript. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. The first thing we're going to do is listen for a click on our checkbox label. We know that the checkbox label is our primary click target. When somebody clicks that, the checkbox is being clicked. So when that is clicked, we're going to do a whole bunch of things. We're going to set some variables. We're going to run an if statement. We're going to format our text. And then we're going to put the text where we need it to go. And when I say text, I mean added value. When we click and unclick on different checkboxes, we're going to add or remove their value from the total value. All right, let's now go through this line by line. First, we are going to get the total value field. We're creating a variable called total val, and that is going to be our hack42 added value class. This is the class that's applied to the text element that is displaying the total added value. And this total value is going to be used later on in the code to update that value. We're also going to get the checkbox input field. We have our checkbox label as our click target and the actual checkbox input is where we have our data attribute to assign a value to it. So we need that checkbox, we need that data attribute, and we are going to store that in a variable called checkbox. And then we're going to declare the sum variable. What we are doing this for is to make it known that we will be using something called sum. Right now, the sum is nothing, it's zero. We have nothing to define this as, but we are telling JavaScript, we're going to do something with this. This must be declared because we have a sum that will be created later on in this code. And then we go to our if statement, which is where we add to our sum. If the user checks the checkbox, the sum is equal to the total value field's value. We're going to get that value of the checkbox and then add that value to the total value. So we have our sum variable that we declared up here. And the sum, in this case, when the checkbox is checked, is going to be the number formatted total value text. We're going to remove some characters that we don't want from this total value field. And then we're going to add the checkbox data attribute add value. So we are, we have our sum, we have the value of that total value field, and then we're going to add the value on the data attribute of add value. So if we start off at zero, it's nothing, and we click our 200 add value checkbox, it is then going to add 200 to our sum. If the user does not check the checkbox, the user unchecks the checkbox, this is else, we are then going to minus that checkbox's value from the total value. So we have this sum again, this is continuously being updated, and the sum, in this case, in the, ins in the instance of else, is going to be the total value text in a number, and it's going to subtract the number of checkbox attribute add value. So when our data attribute is 200 as a value, we're going to remove that 200 from the sum. So here, checkbox is checked, we're adding a number. If it is unchecked, we are removing that number. Great, and we have this sum value, and this sum value is the total of all the checked or unchecked boxes. Now let's go and format this sum. If you have a number, let's say over 1000, and you want to have a comma in there, you would want it to look like this, 3000, three comma 500. We are going to do that through this. We're creating this variable formatted sum. It's going to be a new number format, and we are going to format the sum. 
And the sum, of course, is what we are creating up here, what we are adding to and removing from. So we're going to format that sum. And the formatted sum is what's going to officially show in our total val variable. Remember our total val variable, we have it on our class of hack 42 added value. So that hack 42 added value is going to have the text of our formatted sum. Excellent, we have our formatted number showing with our added checkboxes and unadded checkboxes in the user's visible screen space. And now we need to go and add that value to the hidden input. Remember, if you wanna add this value to the hidden input, you can, it's optional. If you don't want it, you can go ahead and remove this. But we do wanna submit this with the form. We have our hack42 send value class. We're going to update its value, that value data attribute that's blank in the HTML embed. And we're going to put our formatted sum inside that value so that when this form is submitted, we are actually submitting that total added value. Nice. Now, maybe you don't want a formatted value. That's okay. There are instances where you're not adding up and you want to add that comma in there. So if you did not want the formatted value, we would go and comment this out. And instead of using our formatted sum, we'll just use our normal sum here. And our sum variable is created right here. It is the official added or not added total value. And that is how we would do it if we didn't want to format. But we do want to format in this instance, so we will keep it formatted. And that's it for checkboxes. We have everything that we need here. We have our data attributes. We're adding up the values. We have our checkboxes. If you're interested in selects, in radios, in more form elements, Go and check out Hack 43, 44, and 45. We're doing a lot more with these concepts. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.